essential fatty acid supplementation in the nutritional management of cancer and in cancer patient survivors. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, essential fatty acids are an important part of cancer prevention and management. Now, how does it work? Well, essential fatty acids are really polyunsaturated fats. And polyunsaturated fats, although they can be burned as calories, a lot of polyunsaturated fats that you swallow actually become part of the structure of the outer skin of every cell. It's called the cell membrane. And then every five to 15 minutes, there are hormones or there are enzymes that convert those essential fats into hormones. We call them prostaglandin hormones because they were first found in the prostate gland, but they're found in all kinds of tissues in the body. And as the body converts those essential fats into prostaglandin hormones, it has very important local effects on the tissue function. So the body makes three types of prostaglandins, depending on the essential fats that are in your cells. It can make prostaglandin series one, series two, or series three. As it turns out, prostaglandin series two is the bad one. Cancer cells like to take certain essential fats, the bad one known as arachidonic acid, and convert that arachidonic acid into prostaglandin series two. And the prostaglandin series two helps the cancer cell divide at a really fast rate so it can spread through the body like wildfire. So not eating foods that are going to make prostaglandin series two is really in your best interest. That means having not eating high animal fat foods. It also means staying away from certain vegetable oils like corn oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, and most mixed vegetable oils. They're not desirable. On the other hand, prostaglandin series one and series three slow down the rate of cell division. And they also help to block, to a certain degree, the synthesis of prostaglandin series two. So you want to have more of those essential fats in your cell membrane that are going to slow down the rate of cell division. In addition to that, and that's going to come primarily from the omega-3 fats, by the way, uh, fish, and fish oil. And one of the, the, um, the fats in fish oil is EPA. And EPA also helps to slow down the rate of cell division in other ways by inhibiting what's called the epidermal growth factor receptor. It's a bit complicated, but it's very helpful. So how do you maximize your prostaglandin series three synthesis to slow down the rate of cell division? By supplementing with flaxseed oil and fish oil. It has to be a high yield fish oil, which I'll explain momentarily. But that's not the end of the story. You also have to, there's other ways to block the formation of prostaglandin series two. And you do that by having borage seed oil. Borage seed oil is very rich in what's known as GLA, which is gamma linolenic acid. It's an omega-6 polyunsaturated fat, but it's a good omega-6 because it helps to block prostaglandin series two. So with my own patients, I'm the director of nutritional therapy at the Canadian Cancer Immunotherapy Center in Toronto. And uh, with, it's an integrative uh, center headed by a medical doctor who I have great respect for. But I do the adjunct of nutritional management of cancer with those patients who want the nutrition consultation. So I give them an essential fatty acid supplement as part of the adjunct of nutritional management. Uh, there's about 10 different supplements that I recommend to these patients, but one of them is an essential fatty acid supplement that has in each capsule 400 milligrams of fish oil, flaxseed oil, and borash seed oil all together. And I have them take um, uh, about four to six capsules a day. That's the dose they're going to need for it to really have a meaningful therapeutic effect. And remember, the fish oil has to be a high yield fish oil. That means 30% EPA, 20% DHA. A lot of fish oils in the marketplace are 18% EPA, 12% DHA. They're less expensive, but they don't have the meaningful doses of those essential fats to make the prostaglandin series three that's so important. So the fish oil has to be uh, a real high yield fish oil. And at the same time, the patient has to avoid uh, high animal fat foods that have too much arachidonic acid. One of the exceptions is fish. Stay away from the vegetable oils I, I spoke about. And uh, they can use foods that have more what are called medium chain triglycerides. Certain foods and oils have more what are called MCT fats. That can be helpful in cancer management along with the dietary strategies that we have. But what I suggest you do is to understand essential fatty acids. Click on the link below and read my article on essential fatty acids and cancer and, it'll, and you'll start to get a clearer picture as to why 
those foods and those supplements can be very important as part of the long-term management in these cases. All the scientific references are there, so you'll see you're getting evidence-based information from me. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, and uh, videos that I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. They're all free. Uh, all the research review papers and my teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll always see you're getting sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make machinohealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.